Morning! Welcome to Europe by Benz. In this series, I travel Europe by Benz. Hmm. For this first episode, I'm on my way to a stretch of highway in Germany, which has an overhead wire. Like what? But first, welcome to Useless Facts with Holland Station. Did you know that at this border crossing near Bad Neuenschans, one petrol station is located in the Netherlands and the other in Germany? That in itself is not that crazy, but what is crazy is that the highway doesn't cross the border until a little bit further on. So when you go to this gas station, you go to Germany and then you go back to the Netherlands to go to Germany again. Now that we have officially left the always relatively sunny Groningen, the rain started pouring down. As some of you have commented on one of my previous videos, German autobahns are much less pleasant to drive on in the rain. In many places in the Netherlands, we have asphalt that allows water to pass through the asphalt. In Germany, however, all the water has to run off the road, which can cause a lot of spraying water and possibly even aquaplaning. Anyway, after two and a half hours, I arrived at the harbor of Hamburg, one of the biggest in Europe and probably the biggest in Germany. Yep, that's right. And I think you already know how a harbor works, but well, you never know. So, this is where the cranes unload the cargo ship. These are self-driving wagons that move the containers within the yard. This is a shunting locomotive that comes to collect some containers to bring them to the railway yard. And this is the railway yard, where the collected containers are combined into one long train. The port of Hamburg is connected by this bridge. And sorry, I have to do this. Welcome to Useless Facts with Holland Station. When it opened in 1974, this bridge was the longest cable state bridge in the world. At least according to its Dutch Wikipedia page. So I don't know if it's really true, but at least now you know. Anyway, let's head towards the overhead wire. It was already a bit late, so I drove a little faster and after 45 minutes or so, I finally arrived. Welcome to Testtrekke A1, a 5 km long stretch of autobahn south of Lübeck equipped with an overhead wire. Here an alternative way of driving on green energy is being tested. Instead of filling trucks with batteries, they are investigating putting pantographs on the trucks. This way you need less space for the batteries and you can charge the remaining batteries while driving. Batteries are no problem for short distance truck rides but they may be less suitable for long, long stretches on the highway. A truck that could charge with a pentagraph while driving could possibly be a solution to this. However, this system with overhead wires also has a major disadvantage. For the system to work, overhead lines must be installed on the highways throughout Germany and possibly even Europe. That will cost a lot of money and will also require a lot of maintenance. I'm curious what you think about this. Do you say, yeah, let's build it? Or do you prefer batteries? Let me know in the comments. Well, the sun has gone down. I'm going to sleep and I'll see you in the morning. But where do I sleep? Well, if you paid attention, in the second shot of the video, you could have seen that there is no passenger seat. That's because I built my bed in there. I sleep in the car, have everything I need in the trunk, and I can even cook dinner at any place I like. I put my homemade window covers up and I can go to bed. And now I have converted the car in a very cozy bedroom. What else does a person need? Good night.